The newest way America is powering up is through wind, and more specifically, offshore wind farms. The very first offshore wind farm in America began making waves in 2016. So what is an offshore wind farm exactly? And how will we benefit from this up and coming technology? Find out that and more coming up. Hi, I'm Teresa with Constellation, where we shed light on practical energy options for businesses and communities across the US. Subscribe to the channel now, and if you'd like the notes to this video, click the link in the comment section. Harnessing the power of wind has become a great addition to the renewable energy stage. You may have noticed wind turbines in certain places throughout the United States, but one thing you can't see from the road or your backyard is an offshore wind farm. Just like the name sounds, offshore wind farms are located off the shores in the ocean. Right now, Europe is the leader in offshore wind energy production. They have the largest projects currently running and the oldest. Denmark kicked it all off with the first offshore wind farm installed in 1991. Currently, the United Kingdom holds the record for the largest project called the London Array, which was commissioned in 2012. You might be wondering, what has taken America so long to catch on? Well, offshore wind farms are definitely far from easy to build and operate. There's also a lot of regulations when it comes to using the ocean floor for this purpose. Price is also an issue. It's more expensive to build and manage an offshore wind farm, but what makes them so useful is that there are stronger, steadier wind streams that will, in theory, produce energy more efficiently than onshore wind farms will ever be able to. Now let's talk about how these wind farms are able to function offshore. The basics of wind turbines are rather simple. The wind turns the blades of the turbine, which spin in a shaft that is connected to a generator and makes electricity. Now, how does it get back to the mainland, you say? Glad you asked. When the wind farms are built, a series of cables are buried under the sea floor to transport the energy back to coastal load centers where it's redistributed to the grid and then, of course, into our homes and communities. There are extra bonuses to implementing offshore wind farms in America, too. First and foremost, wind farms join the cause to help reduce our dependency on non-renewable energy sources while also reducing pollution and greenhouse gases. Yay for clean energy! Offshore wind farms also create jobs and local business opportunities. Coastlines can be very saturated with people and needy for power, so again, this is a great alternative to using land for energy transmission. Now, how about some things you might not know about offshore wind turbines? A really cool fact is that some of wind turbines float instead of being attached to the sea floor. This technology is necessary for regions of the ocean where mounted towers are just not feasible. Another interesting fact is that offshore winds are typically stronger during the daytime hours when most Americans are awake and the demand for power is higher. This makes offshore wind farms even more awesome. The last thing that you may not know is that there are several more offshore wind farm projects in the works here in America. Things are definitely starting to blow in the right direction for clean energy. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more. Remember, you can download the notes to this video for any report by clicking the link in the comments. Don't forget to cite Constellation as your source. Also remember to download our energy savings guide filled with cutting edge strategies designed to help you save energy. Just click the link in the description box to find out more. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.